All right, so we got. At last, another blood power has awakened. As for Julius, you're only second. Congratulations. Now, is there anything you want to talk about? What was that origami? The Mardu here pulsed it is a new kind of origami we've been provisionally referring to as Scions. Which explains that. It's our understanding that Scions have powerful resonances that give them control over other origami. So they're boss origami. In a sense. I already don't like the sound of that! Since God Arcs can contain Oracle cells, they are in a way um, origami. That's why Emil can move his. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I get it. This thing wasn't activated because that thing used its thingy in bobber? Okay. Okay, what are the resonances then? Resonances are the phenomena of different Oracle cells influencing each other. These can involve God Eaters or their God Arcs. What can occur between origami? How is it able to fight? Even your blood power is a type of resonance. I'm powerful enough to resist Scion Control. Learn what God Arcs succumb to Scion Control and shut down. But blood power overcomes enemy control. Good to know. Resistance had only been theorized. But now, by mere chance, you've given us the proof. Alright, nothing else. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. We have more good news. Blood is about to welcome a new members of the family. You bloods can stand against the Scions. Indeed, you will become the very hope of humankind. Until then, maybe a happy family. <laughs> a new teammate, awesome. I'm always excited for that. Now, uh, let's see if we can find a meal. Oh, okay, we're gonna have otherwise in that room. Is he gonna be in the garden then? Yes, yes he is. After that mission, I'm deeply in your debt. Please permit me to express my gratitude. Okay. It was nothing. Such grace. I see that you're more than just a superb fighter, but a person of good manners as well. In that power, you just might be the sword to cut mankind free of the darkness that envelops us. I may have fallen a step behind you, but this is one rival who will soon catch up. Rival what? Am I the only one who doesn't think of him as a rival? Or never didn't notice the rival relationship? Because he's definitely not a rival, if anything else. I can find more of a rival in Arta. Or Riku. You? No, just... You're, you're not even close, man. I'm, I'm sorry. You're my rival now? Oh yes, my friend. Regrettably, it appears I must be returning to the Far East. However... Next time we meet, we shall see whose training has paid off. Until that day, dear friend. Ah, so he's a temporary member, then. It's a shame. Hey, are you new here, or... Oh, no, it's just Julius. They're going to let another member join blood soon. I just never thought it'd be her. Anyway, I'll introduce you when she gets here. In the meantime, you can ask me anything. I want to ask you... Oh, just basically... Eh, never mind. Sure. So that's a little chat is all I can offer. So, he can't believe it's her, meaning it's someone sh we should know. Or at least I'm guessing someone from the first game would know. Let's play the first game, or, eh, ah, you guys get what I mean. Um, let's see. Let's assign a new mission. Are you ready for it? Bring it on! What do you got for me? Venom Fanged Angel. That's an interesting thing. Lemony and Aragami heard compromised mostly as zygotes. Zygotes are filled with poisonous gas that allows them to glide through the air. How does those things connect? I do not know. Jumping and gun... Excuse me. Jumping and gun attacks to their swollen bag-like bodies are highly effective. Stay vigilant against the poisonous gas they made of attackers being green curative items just in case. Well, speaking of which, um... Uh, hold on, that, that thought. I gotta look into the, uh, blood art thing. I don't, I don't think I even did that. It should be in personal abilities. Oh, but I can't look at my own. Or do I have to go to the... It'd be date... No, it won't. It'd probably be the loadout, then. Oh, is this it? I have put... Change to the equipped blood art. Blood art is required by using a close combat weapon and raising its chance of awakening. The chance of awakening rises when Aragami are hit with the correct attacks. At 100%, a new blood art is learned. Only one blood art can be used on a single mission. Use your favorite techniques as often as possible. The right swing. Consu... Oh, condition to awakening a chance. Fun attack. 
Uh-huh. So I can just select any of these? I'm gonna try Crash Wave. Maybe not. Um... Please tell me I can equip some- Oh, here we go. The Charge Crush. A Charge Crush made stronger by building up and concentrating energy. Okay, I'll equip that. Use the Blood Hour often enough and it'll grow in power. Okay, so it's not something you can get right off the bat, it's just something that happens. And it looks like it's, you can only uh, have it between one weapon. Well, good thing I don't use any of these things. It doesn't even have it between guns, so that's good to know. Alright then. Oh yeah, I didn't even change this yet. Change the set name. Uh... You know what? How is this an option? Crimson... Please tell me one of these is an option. Uh... You know what? Crimson Novice. Why not? That sounds awesome. Use this name. Cancel the name change. and it set name. Let's use this name. The Crimson Novice. I'd say that's pretty fitting. If anything else. Okay, let's actually go into this now. Sorry for boring, guys. No, not difficulty one. Difficulty two. The Venom Fanged Angel. Let's move in. We got our team set. Oh, I thought that mule was being sent to the uh, East Wing again. I may suggest that's with this thing. Well, either way, I probably should uh, see him off. By see him off, I mean use someone else. Probably not Nana. Not good. Let's go. Mission is set. Squad blood, move out! Yes, I said squad blood. Deal with it. Consider it a reference. Alright, so we got ourselves some flying enemies, then. If I didn't have a spread gun, this might be an interesting fight. Alright, but I can jump up and attack them, can I? Well, that's the thing. Ooh, angel shell. Come on. Okay, switch. File transfer! File transfer! From you! There you go. Alright, now can I actually... Yeah, I can. No! Get me. All that stuff. Yeah! That's it, batter up, fool. That's it, stay down, Night Hollow. And I like how it just says... We did it, and then just Asterix sings. Uh, that's pretty humorous. It's the little things in life. <laughs> oh, right, sound meter. Gotta remember. It's only been one day, and I'm already forgetting the basics. But yeah, at least I figured out the item system now, so that's always a plus. So, yeah. If I do this... Yeah! Obtain the Nat Stalker from a surprise Nat Hello! He goes down easy. Speaking of lunch. Yeah, it's cool, you guys. Uh, speaking of lunch, I probably should finish my uh, popcorn chicken. Uh, that'd be awesome. Apparently, there's nothing else. All right, I'm just gonna eat some popcorn chicken while I'm waiting for this thing to go by. There you go, mission clear. Alright. Support redraw, reselect supporting skills, receive additional bond break rewards. I can get something for myself, apparently? The boss to a lot of mission rewards? Damn right, that sounds awesome. The reward won't include consumables. Yeah, that's gonna be good. 
Melee attack. Muted. And defense. Alright. Triple S! Ah, back on the right track. Ooh, that feels so good. Alright then. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. But, wait, as to all of those? I thought I just did for the crash wave thing. Or not a crash wave, wh whatever I have. I guess that's good to know. It seems a little easier. So I just got... Oh, I see now. Square attack gets those ones up. Triangle for that stuff. Huh. Okay, so good to know. Wait, pairing upper. Well, I'll figure out all the stuff. Well, let's just move on now. I'm interested to meet this new cadet. It's been quite a while. I assume you are no longer Dr. Rachel's attendant. No, sir. I've only recently been given a new assignment. I have been commanded to serve in the Blood Special Forces Unit. I am glad to see you again, Julius. Captain? Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sheil Allenson. As of today, I am a member of Blood and proud to serve. I too was raised at the Magnolia Compass Orphanage. Julius and I both learned to be soldiers and god eaters under Dr. Rachel's tutelage. What? I've had I can't hear you! In military tactics and strategy, as well as special operations. I hope my knowledge can be put to good use. Miss, you need to speak up! I can't hear you past all this annoying music! Not so much annoying, just very loud! Um, that is all. Please, Sheila, there is no need to remain so tense. Welcome to Blood. We are so proud to count you among us. Finally, all of our cadets have been gathered together. Your powers pulse with your heart. You will become leaders. Far beyond the elite of God Eaters, you will be the very saviors of all humanity. Julius? Blood Special Forces will now shift its focus to tactical cohesion. To that end, I will promote one among us to Vice Captain. Their task will be to oversee Blood's growth into a truly unified whole. Let me guess. With exceptional combat abilities, a dedication to their allies, and awakened Blood power, you are the most suitable candidate. Will you accept the position of Vice Captain? Wow, Vice Captain? So cool! The ideal choice, really. Romeo's unreliable, and Nana's, well, Nana. Oh, <laughs> Jill, you're way worse than me! Yeah, I don't think so. You stand too far from the enemy, you miss, and then you call yourself a crack shot. Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Charge into everyone's line of fire... guy... yeah? Who's everyone? Not me, actually. <laughs> me, you idiot! Duh! As you can see, Team Cohesion is still quite worrying. I trust you'll bring them together. Shio, together with the Vice Captain, you will help to unify the Blood Unit. Understood, sir. I expect the same of you three. I want you all to fight as one mind, each in perfect sync. I look forward to working with you, Vice Captain. Our task is daunting, and there's much to be done, but I believe we shall succeed. Okay, then. I look forward to working with you, too. Chiel, was it? I mean, it? It's spelled like Seal, like Seal Phantom Hive, but it's pronounced Chiel. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Like any other voice, well, not so much voiceless, but uh, nameless protagonist, I actually get to be the uh, center of bringing the team together. This is gonna be interesting. Um, and you know, so far there's no but in uh, no recording issues. I think I can uh, get away with saving right now, at least for now. Can't always promise that though. All right, anything new? Nope. Okay. Thank you, Vice Captain. Dr. Rachel's letting us use the lab for our meeting. I'll see you there. Okay, so we're hanging on to the lab next, it looks like. Beep, beep, beep! Excuse me, pardon me, one side coming through! Uh, upper level. I 
sincerely hope we can do all that is expected of us. As do I. If it's not improper, Vice Captain, I have a question I'd like to ask. How many combat operations have you participated in since joining the Blood Unit? That's a good question. I honestly don't remember. You know, for whether or not we're counting the training missions doesn't exactly help either. A few. No oh, tons. I'd probably say honestly not many. I see. So you don't have much first-hand battle experience just yet. Neither do I. Yeah, not that much. But I managed to survive fighting a Congo or two, or three. So... Chuck that up as well you will. Thus, beginning in our next sortie, we will focus on advancing Blood's tactical cohesion. Alright. What, what does that mean? Do you have anything you'd like to ask of me, Vice Captain? Do I have? Have you, have you known Julius Long? Were you trained in? Yeah, I might as well go through the list if I can. Uh, have you known Julius Long? Yes. We were raised together at the Magnolia Compass Orphanage. Dr. Rachel was our caretaker. Under her, we learned practical knowledge and pride as God-eaters. Ah, so you're one of the very first. It is really thanks to her that I serve as one of mankind's defenders. Some may think of our task as a burden, but I do not. I suspect you are much the same. In a way. Alright, so what are you trained in? Various martial arts. A broad selection of weapons as well as sabotage, espionage, and assassination. So you're basically the Black Widow of this universe. I can dig that. All of that is nothing compared to the combat seen by those on the front lines. Eh, we'll see about that. But yeah, th that's all. Thank you. Dr. Rachel shared with me the story of your awakening. She was awed by your skill in combat. Really, now? I don't remember much of that. I may not have much combat experience, but I hope I can contribute my tactical knowledge to our team. Um, in this situation, uh, I'm sorry, how can I put this? Just... G g go for it, don't... just be blunt. That always works with me. Our abilities may complement each other, if you understand my meaning. Perhaps I can amend some of your shortcomings and you can... So in other words, we can link together? Uh, sorry, that was rather rude. My apologies. I am not well versed in social conversation. You're talking to the guy who only speaks during battle. I think you'll be alright. By the way, would you look over this document I prepared? Mm, book work? Eh, sure, why not? I got, I got more uh, to deal with anyway. I analyzed everyone's combat data until this point, and devised a training regimen. Ooh. Every 24-hour period contains eight hours for sleep, two for eating, and four for undertaking our operations. That's surprisingly normal. Wait a second. Eight hours of sleep, two for eating, and four for undertaking our operations. What happens in the other 12 hours? Is that just for horsing around and all that? That leaves four hours for physical combat readiness training, and the final six for classroom study. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Th Time out, time out. You just said eight for sleep, two for eat, that makes ten, and the other four for uh, thing which makes... Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, so that's actually fourteen hours. Six that goes in that. Wow, okay, so never mind. I, I'm sorry for questioning your uh, knowledge. Also, if you look here, I've designed individual training routines for each member. Ooh. They may not be 100% accurate. But I believe using them will improve the team's combat capability. I believe that's all for now. Thank you for your time, Vice Captain. Thank you for your time, GL. That's very much appreciated. It's good to know at least someone has a decent head in here. I was kind of expecting her to be like. Okay, so we have this, this, and this, and, you know, just the schedule involving barely any sleep. That tends to be a, uh, a big habit when it comes to these kind of games, but, hey, it, it works. It works. Uh, that being said, is there anything else we can take care of? I'm in a hunt for you. Blood will divide into two teams against groups of Yaksha. Yaksha! Yaksha are dimmed, but their arms are like cannons. Do your best to control the battlefield. Alright. So a steel cage destroy a swarm of our gummy that infested the abandoned factory. Yaksha are slow to react, but possess keen ears and enough intelligence to be troubled. The sound of fighting will attract their attention, and their score of attacks are dangerous. If a Yaksha appears while you bow the ogre tail, fall back and reposition. 
So in other words, keep our distance from them. Got it. That was just three of us. And they're all fixed. No fourth member, apparently. Alright. Alright. I can do it. I guess while I'm here, can I grab some items? Uh, inventory. We have this carried items in storage. I just to... I'll write me down uh, here. I gotta I got remember that. It's amazing how much I've forgotten in the span of one day. Uh, buy items for carrying. There's stores that like HP. How much does this cost? Uh, 40 C. Ooh, that's for you. Uh, good. Oh, but I can only hold up to three of two more, it looks like. Yep, I'll put that. Rations, more source of stamina. I don't really need that. If, eh, considering how quickly he restores anyway, it's kind of pointless. Restores OP, don't really get that much. Uh, detox. Well, uh, a few of those might be decent to have. 500? Uh, I can work with that. Anti bleak dose. Muscle booster increases attack bar for 30 seconds. I might buy just one of these for later. A body booster as well. Taunting sin helps drive enemies. Uh, that's something I don't want. Maybe drink increases max stamina at the cost of HP. Uh, no. Increases maximum HP at the cost of stamina. Uh, I, I can work with one of those. A health booster slightly increases maximum HP. Oh, I like that one already. I'll buy a couple of those. I'm going to extract. Okay, this is just the stuff for other things. Okay. And then I can just buy bullets, equipment, etc. Much later. But for now, I'm, I, I think I'm good. Alright then. On to the mission again! 